obviously the last one. It's kind of a fake mock draft. I did it a week after April Fools. April Fools, it's not even fun. Like the first, everybody knows everyone's joking. All right, wait, the real trick is to do it on a different day. That's how you fool people. But um, yeah, this was a, a, a fun one to make. I thought it was hilarious. Um, and some people actually thought it was legit. So we're just gonna take a look at the comments and uh, we'll roast some of them and then we'll go through the video and I'll talk about like all the stuff I was thinking like as it was happening. But uh, this was great. A lot of people thought it was funny, I guess. Um, or not funny, but like, you know, entertaining because, you know, it was a joke. It was a joke mock. Anybody paying attention that knows a little bit about football should be able to figure out that this is a joke. And if not, if you actually thought I was for real, why are you watching if somebody's doing a mock draft this bad you just click off the video <laughs> but here we are in the comments uh obviously i heard it some of them um, but this is a good one uh, it was hilarious until i saw rattler's name next to my beloved panthers and then i wasn't laughing anymore it's even funnier um the panthers they got two second round picks so a few picks later i actually had the panthers uh select michael pratt <laughs> another qb uh so just just couldn't stop it. That's the thing. Like, I had so many teams in this draft where I just, I, the, their first pick, I took a position they didn't need. And then the second pick they had, I just took the same position. I just, anybody who watched should have been able to figure it out. And I love the comments that w went along with it. Like, oh, this is the most realistic mock I have seen. Like, yeah, that's funny. Like, thank you for joking with me. Uh, did you smoke before the vid? I don't know about realistic. Did you smoke before the vid? I mean, seriously, like if you're sober and you know anything about football and anything about the guys in this draft, you should be able to look at it and know it's either a joke or if you actually think it's that bad, like I said, click off the video. If somebody is making a video of a mock draft that is so bad, like so bad, disgustingly bad, why would you even waste your time? Just click off. Just you hit the dislike button if you want to, but just click off the video. Why are you wasting your time? Why even leave a comment? Because um, now you just, you made it in the next video and we're, we're laughing at you because you smoked too much before you watch this video. Um, but yeah, moving on. I don't know about realistic, but definitely entertaining. Honestly, best mock I've seen. This is on Mel Kuyper level. These people understood the assignment. I love it. Tapping noises, 100. Um, I don't know if this is, I don't know if the word realistic in all caps is supposed to be ironic or not, but I can assure you, as a Washington fan, they're going not going wide receiver at two. What's funny is this guy, he figured out the joke, but he still fell into the trap. <laughs> That's impressive. That's impressive. Uh, this got to be a, a delayed April Fools po uh, Fool's post. Uh, yep, you got it. Bro, just yapping. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. Welcome. This is this is what we do here. Welcome. Um, the way this draft is so shocking kind of makes me think this will happen. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few picks in there, here and there, that uh, could happen, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Sam Howell isn't on Washington anymore. I forget what I said, but um, something about, like, oh, the commanders, their problem is receivers. Sam Howell didn't have anybody to throw to or something like that when the receivers are fine. Um, but, yeah, uh, Colts are not taking all line uh, cornerback or wide receiver first round. Yeah, this guy, he took it a little too seriously. And the Colts, they have, like, what, the 14th, 15th pick? There were so many joke picks by then. He should have figured out that this thing was a joke. Uh, Bills need to take a wide receiver again. What, 28th pick? If you saw anything that was ahead of that, you should know this was a joke, but it's okay. Um, uh, <laughs> this guy, yeah, Giants fan, um, he thought this was good because, yeah, Jonathan Brooks with the sixth pick. I thought that was the dead giveaway that this was a joke. Was he joking? Yes. Quinny Mitchell not falling that far. Yeah, Mitchell was like one of the guys where I was trying to make weird picks and then all of a sudden you get to the second round and there's a bunch of guys with first round grades just available. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But yeah, Chargers uh, not getting a QB. 
Vikings taking another receiver is hilarious. Eagles have no receivers. I believe he's quoting me because I did say that. But he doesn't know what the team's actual needs are. Realistic, maybe not so much. That's the joke. That's the joke. Um, but it's okay. LFG. April Fool's was a week ago. Terrible. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I'll chill. I'll chill. <laughs> Brendan Rice at 11 is a steal, to be honest. That's funny. But yeah, let's uh, let's look at this. I'm not even going to play the audio. We're just going to go through, and I'm going to tell you what I was thinking as I was doing this. Just, just for fun. Today's just a fun video. But here we are. Um, so yeah, we had the first pick, and originally I was going to, I was going to mess with Bears fans, I was going to just take somebody else, just to, just to piss off the Bears fans, but I thought it would ruin the whole thing. I, I wanted at least one piece of this draft, so that uh, anyone watching was going to take it serious for at least a second, and then get thrown off by everything that follows. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to mess with the Bears fans. I'm going to give the Bears fans what they want and mess with everybody else. All right, it felt like a win-win. So yeah, I had, obviously, Caleb Williams goes to the Bears, so right away, looks like a normal mock draft, like I've done a bunch of times. Um, and then this word gets a little funny, um, but I basically trashed the Commanders. They have no good receivers. Sam Howell didn't have any help. That's the reason they weren't good. So... They need a receiver, which, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. going number two isn't crazy. He's a really good player, but it would be a team that doesn't need a quarterback or, at the very least, needs receivers. The commanders, they they would never get him. They would never take him. So having him go there, uh, just a complete, a complete joke, but still technically, <laughs> it's semi- realistic but not not really so there's that um the patriots are on the board i'm like oh they need a qb what worked for them before was drafting a michigan quarterback tom brady yes uh so using that logic jj mccarthy should get drafted by the patriots which it scares me but that is a I don't think it'll happen, but there is like a small chance the Patriots take McCarthy, maybe. I don't know. Um, so technically, we're at the third pick, and it's like, all right, yeah, there's some weird stuff going on, but it's it's still technically possible. Um, but here we are at the fourth pick, and anybody who couldn't figure out that by now this thing is just a joke, like this is just a fake mock draft, anybody who couldn't figure it out, might have some issues. Uh, so the Cardinals, they got Kyler Murray. Oh, Kyler Murray was injured. That's a big problem. They need Jaden Daniels to back him up. I, like by now, anybody who had any sort of doubt um, should just know 100%. This is just a joke. They Why would they take Jaden Daniels? <laughs> um, I mean, it'd be one thing. Maybe they could. Maybe they could. I don't know. They would have to draft him, trade Kyler Murray. But I didn't even say that in the video. I didn't even say it. I said they'll take Jaden Daniels to back up Kyler Murray. So, people should have been catching on by now. If not, if not, I thought, at the very least, by the fifth pick, everybody should really understand what's going on here because the Chargers are on the board. And I have the Chargers taking Drake May. They already have Justin Herbert. By now, this draft should be very obvious that it is a joke. We are having a good laugh. Just in case there are people out there who still think by this point is this is real. I had to throw in a real curveball, all right? A real curveball. Uh, I had to really sell this one. I had to really, really put it out there that this is a joke. The Giants, they lost Saquon Barkley. 
So with number six, they need a running back, Jonathan Brooks. And this isn't even like a, a Jameer Gibbs type thing where like last year it was like, oh, he should be like a late first rounder. Lions took him at 12. It's not even like that. Jonathan Brooks, I have not seen him get a first round grade anywhere. Maybe I've missed it. I don't know. He seems like a day two guy. All right. Nobody, nobody, especially not the sixth pick. Nobody is taking Jonathan Brooks in the first round. And they have, they have some crazy, some crazy needs. I mean, uh, Malik and Joe Alt would be massively better than the, than, <laughs> than this pick. So anybody who got to the sixth pick and still thought this was a real mock draft, I gave you this. I made it very clear. This is not for real. All right. Um, you should have had it figured out by this point. Um, so those those were kind of my favorites. I mean, the rest of the way, I, I'd make some some jokes here and there. But then some of the picks, you know, they ended up not being terrible. Like uh, Titans here. Let's see. I don't even remember. But I got Brock Powers. There's better guys on the board. But Brock Powers at seven, not like the craziest thing ever, I guess. But Falcons. I think I went, I don't even know what I did. Oh, receiver. I mean, they already have so many guys at skilled positions uh, on offense. But, you know, if they're taking best player available, maybe Malik is the guy. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not crazy. Bears, I think I just went like D-line. Yeah, I mean, they already have, um, they already have Sweat. So it's like, I don't know, maybe they need another guy. I don't know, but, um... Jets, I think I went with tackle here. Yeah, but like Joe Alt's on the board. There's like two other, three other better tackles than than JC. Um, Vikings. Uh, oh, this and then and then this this one right here. This should have really like if you actually you know what if you haven't figured if, if if somebody didn't figure out it was a joke by this point then they they probably never were going to. So this pick doesn't even matter. But I said the Vikings they need. A wide receiver from USC to make Sam Darnold happy. They already have Addison, which is funny. Um, but that Brendan Rice, I, I don't even know. He's he's a day two guy. He's a day two guy. And they don't need receivers. So this is uh, this is a joke. It's obviously what we call a joke, um, but. I guess not everybody understood that. Uh, the Broncos, let's see. Dallas, or, oh, sorry, Joe Alt. Not a, I don't even know if they need tackles, but Joe Alt, best player available. Maybe they would do that. I don't know. Uh, Dallas Turner to the Raiders. I mean, they already have Crosby. I forget who's on the other side, but they already they have Wilkerson as well. Um, just traded for him or just signed him. I don't know. I forget. Um, but not, not a crazy realistic scenes. I just had to take Cooper. I don't know. Um, Colts. Tackle. I don't even... They don't need tackles. <laughs> but I, I... Why not? <laughs> Seahawks. Uh, I think it was like Burton. Or Barton, sorry. Um, but I think Barton... I think Barton... I think he's versatile. Uh, I think he can play guard. I, if I'm thinking of the right guy, so that's actually maybe not even a bad pick. Uh, this one, the Jaguars. Brian Thomas Jr. In my real mocks. I actually had them taking him a couple in like maybe one. So, I mean, they lost uh, Calvin Ridley. That's actually a good pick. Um, that, that one's not a joke. <laughs> Bengals, I don't even know. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> Devondre Sweat. Uh, he just had like the DWI thing or whatever. That one's a joke. Yeah, he's not even a day one guy. He's like, he's like day two probably day three now but um and then of course Rome he falls all the way to 19 and I had the Rams take him I mean the Rams are pretty set at receiver but maybe they do that maybe they do that Steelers um oh they want guys from PA they just anybody that goes to a PA school Steelers will take them Dolphins okay this one I mean this this is the giveaway this is a dead giveaway Dolphins Lefty QB, who 
so he was successful in college and had some injuries here and there that maybe worry some people. They already have that. They already have Tua. <laughs> but no, Michael Penix, first round. Obviously a joke. Eagles, I think I was like, I said something like, oh, they got no receivers. They need receivers. Lad McConkey. <laughs> he's good. He's just, I don't know. He's a first round guy, but you know, it's what it is. Vikings, I don't even know what I did here. Um, oh, D-line. I mean, that's maybe that's not even a bad pick. I don't know. Cowboys, Bo Nix. Oh, I was just screwing at the Cowboys at this point. <laughs> Bo Nix. Oh, that'd be awful. That'd be a, such a bad pick for them. That's awful. Um, Packers. Let's see. Safety. I don't know. Maybe that's not even bad. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Buccaneers. I think I went running back. Blake Corum. Yeah, that's... That's probably not going to happen. Cardinals. Uh, cornerback. Oh, that's not even bad. That's actually not bad at all. <laughs> um, tackle for the Bills. Oh, yeah, the Bills. Bills, you know, they maybe they could take a tackle, but I feel like they're set on the O-line. I think they're okay there. Um, they desperately need receivers. Uh, so they would, whoever's on the board at this point, they would be looking at them. So, terrible pick. Triggered that Bills fan, so it was worth it. Uh, Lions. Oh, yeah, this is my logic. The Lions, they need more Lions on their team. So, let's draft a Nittany Lion. That was the logic. You know, that was all nothing crazy there. Ravens, I don't even remember. Linebacker. <laughs> Give me a break. That's funny. Um, here we go. Center. Uh, these, some of these are just oh yeah get the Chiefs a, a running back who's gonna bust because they've done that before I mean Jalen Wright he's I got no hate against the guy maybe he'll be good but uh, it's just like a Clyde Edwards Hilaire joke I guess I don't know this one was good Panthers on the clock Spencer Rattler that was a good one <laughs> Pats oh I think I got Roman Wilson put him up with J.J. McCarthy just get all Michigan guys load up on Michigan Cardinals. Here we go. Uh, Jordan Morgan tackle. Latu edge. So just not not crazy picks, I guess. There goes Mitchell. <laughs> Pick 37. That's crazy. He's a first round guy. Titans. Mims. Panthers. Here we go. This is a good one. Michael Pratt. Boom. Double QB. Triple triple Dirks. Triple Dirks, triple QBs for the Panthers. Um, but yeah, this is just another receiver. Like, another receiver for the Commanders. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, I just started double drafting at certain positions. Center. I don't even know. That's just random. Texans. I think it was Jermaine Burton. Yeah, that's just random. Falcons. D line. Raiders. Tackle. I was just kind of picking cornerback for the Saints why not Colts tackle Giants receiver well, that's not bad I guess it's not bad yeah that's all right uh Jared first goes pick 48 that's funny oh man tight end for the Bengals I don't know, it's just a joke, I guess. Oh, and then Eagles, get him another receiver. I was, like, really piling on the, the Eagles receiver sucks. Like, they got great receivers. Um, <laughs> but get him some more. Steelers, uh, yep, just get another PA guy, another Penn State player. Rams, another receiver. Oh, yeah, and then Eagles, another receiver. I mean, come on, this is just, this is a joke. <laughs> um, let's go Browns. What I pick, yeah, just this was just I was kind of just winging it at this point, just doing some fun stuff. But yeah, Cowboys running back, Kool Aid pick 57. That's crazy, but yeah, this was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> the Lions get another Nittany Lion, but yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I really. I hope people enjoyed it. I was just kind of messing around, but, um, yeah, more realistic, more actual 
real mock drafts coming soon. No more joke ones, I promise. Um, but yeah, definitely enjoy doing this. Thank you for watching all this way. About 20 minutes in and you're still here. You're a real one. What can I say? I appreciate it. Basketball definitely makes...